dear students in the previous class has started module number 1 that is vector calculus in the previous class i have given the complete uh, basics and the three main concept in the vector calculus that is gradient divergent curve and the directional derivatives so before going to the actual example so today uh, before going uh, so i will go for the few illustrative examples how the grade problems will work out then divergence of a vector how it work out and curve so these three concept i want to show now so this is not uh, important for exam but you should know uh, how this gradient of a scalar supposed to be calculated then divergence of the vector supposed to be calculated and the curve of the vector so with the help of that you will you will be uh, able to uh, write any of the answer in the future of the uh, classes what i am going to be conducting so we'll see the example now so illustration so i have taken one example here so given phi phi is nothing but scalar because you can find here no i j k only a quantity that is a, a volume here so or means a magnitude so find grade phi so i have taken so given phi is equal to x square y plus y square of z plus z square of x here so this is the value of phi so we need to find grade phi now so now grade phi is given by grade phi which is symbolically written as what here del phi so this can be written as according to symbolically so del value is nothing but what here do phi by i am writing directly do phi by do x of i plus do phi by do y of j plus do phi by do z of k so this is nothing but a grade phi formula so here we'll replace this phi value and we'll see so which is equal to do by do x of the value is what here x square y plus y square z plus z square x of i plus second term replace this complete phi so do by do y of that is x square y plus y square z plus z square x of j plus I'll write next term down here plus do phi by do z of k that is do by do z of phi value is what here x square y plus y square z plus z square x of k now so each partial derivative we need to uh, uh, apply correctly now so first we have almost three partial derivatives that is with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z so first term coefficient of i so we need to this bracket we need to uh, go for partial derivative with respect to x so while making a partial derivative with respect to x treat y and z as a constant now because this phi is a variable of what here, what here x y z three variables it includes so therefore with respect to x means so in the first term so partial derivative of x square with respect to x is what here to x and this y constant as it is plus so y square and z square purely constant with respect to x is what here zero plus z square is a constant keep as it is partial derivative of x with respect to x is one so first uh, deri uh, partial derivative is completed into i plus next one do by do y of this result that is with respect to y we need to uh, calculate so at that time with respect to y means we have to treat x and z as a constant so here so x square is a constant so partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus uh, with respect to y means uh, partial derivative of y square is 2y and z is a constant plus so z square and x is purely constant with respect to y 0 of j plus next so third term that is plus what we have down so with respect to z means x square and y y is purely constant 0 plus y square is a constant partial derivative of z with respect to z is 1 plus z square into x a partial derivative of that with respect to z is what here 2z into x of k 
so now simplify we'll get so on simplification we'll get what here 2xy plus z square of i plus x square 2yz plus times 2yz of k plus from here we'll get y square plus 2xz of k so in this way so we got uh, this result so this is nothing but uh, therefore I can say that I'll rewrite it so grade 5 is nothing but 2xy plus z square of i plus x square plus 2yz of k plus y square plus 2xz of k so this is uh, the way to find what here the given uh, 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 scalar quantity with grade so similarly i want to go for one more illustrative example so that second one is given vector a so i have taken here vector value because vector will work out for divergence and curl here right now so vector a is given by x square y of z of i plus y square zx of j plus z square xy of k then find the divergence of a and divergence of what here and a curl of a so we'll see one by one both here so vector a they have given what here x square y z of i plus y square zx of j plus z square xy of k so this is a vector uh, quantity so we need to check for divergence of uh, vector a now. so divergence of vector a that is symbolically written as what here del dot vector a so del is nothing but what so this uh, is going to uh, write it as so del value is nothing but what here it is do by do x of i plus do by do y of j plus do by do z of k dot the value of a is what here x square y z of i plus y square z x of j plus z square x y of k so with the help of this so we'll we need to go for dot product so i told dot product always i term you multiply with i j term will multiply with j term only k term you multiply with k so on multiplying so i dot i will become one j dot j will become one k dot k will become one so therefore it will become do by do x of first bracket that is first term x square y z plus into plus is plus do by do y of second term y square z x because j dot j is one leave it plus k dot k is one so leave it so third term so do by do z of the third term z square x y so on simplification so first uh, term we have to differentiate partially with respect to x at that time what happens y and z are constant so partial derivative of x square with respect to x is out here 2x plus so next is y square we need to differentiate partially with respect to y zx is constant so therefore partial derivative of y square with respect to y, y is out here 2y plus here uh, z square xy we need to derivate partially with respect to z so that's why it will be 2z xy is constant so on simplification divergence of vector a is equal to you take two common among this uh, okay or else i think uh, all it is uh, 2xyz is it is 2xyz and it is 2xyz so all are like terms so i can say that 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 times xyz so we got the answer divergence of a as what here 6 times xyz so similarly we need to go for a uh, next concept what they have asked here it is curl of a so i will check uh, how the curl uh, will be going to find here so curl of vector a symbolically it is del cross vector a that is determinant so i 
j k so second row is also fixed that is dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z so this is fixed only when if they have given the value of a given vector is supposed to be in terms of x y z if it is in in case of a p q r so it will become dou x dou by dou p dou by dou q dou by dou r so it depends on what uh, variable they have given for the given vector that uh, will be fixed here so first row is fixed that is i j k second row here it is fixed dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z and next is what here we need to write next uh, coefficient of what here i is what here x square y z so it's supposed to be here write it so x square y z then coefficient of j is what here y square z x and uh, coefficient of k is what here z square Y. So we need to simplify this determinant now. So simplification of this determinant is that is i times bracket. So dou by dou y of this term. So I will go directly. So partial derivative of this term with respect to y. It is what here? Z square x because y is 1. I am writing directly. Formula minus partial derivative of this term with respect to z so here z is one time so at that time y square and x is constant partial derivative of z with respect to z is one so y square and x is what your constant close it minus j times next partial derivative means first row and middle column we have to hide so partial derivative of this function with respect to x partial means what here it will be z square y minus so partial derivative of uh, x square y z with respect to z is what here x square y plus k times next so third first row and third column so partial derivative of y square z x with respect to x is what here y square z minus partial derivative of x square y z with respect to y is what here x square z so now on the simplification you will uh, see that that is curl of vector a is equal to among the first bracket i will take x common what left inside z square minus y square of i minus or i will take minus sign common among this i will take make it plus so among this y is a com uh, common so if i take minus so what happens here x square minus z square will come of k j plus and among this you take z common it will be y square minus s x square of k so this is the way to simplify for what here gradient divergence and curl so remember so how uh, it uh, works for the gradient and uh, how to find the divergence of any vector quantity and curl of any vector quantity so with the help of this uh, uh, illustrative examples so we'll go for the actual examples which is a uh, very important for our examinations